this website gives us a, a 50 megabytes for free space where we can run this uh, LaTeX file. So we will use this service, free service, to show how to use this LaTeX system. So this is how the website roughly looks like. Then you have to create your account, and using that account, you have to log in, and you will have space. So when you log in, you will see the space like this. They give you three folders. In each of these folders, you can um, store the files. But this is space is called dashboard. So if I go to, so we have a three files. And also, I'm going to show you what's in the corner. In the lower right corner, it tell, shows you how much of the uh, space you have used uh, for free. So right now, I've used a 36 kilobyte of the 50 megabyte. So I have uh, some files in this project one folder, so I'll go, th go there. So when I go into that folders, I have these three folders, and each of these are examples. I'm going to show you the example one, and this is what I meant by text file. So in it, it's a simple ASCII code text file in there, so I'll explain how things work using these examples. You can kind of do um, what I am doing using this new file. You can go and create a new file and with this extension name tech, T-E-X. The extension name of the file must be this T-E-X. So I'm going to generate example 3, but you can name your file whatever you want. So when I click the new file, we have this space, and then using that um, space here, you can change your name. So I made it a little bit bigger. Um, understanding everything what is written here, it's not going to be easy and it's not very important at this stage, or, or I assume you're doing this for the first time, so let me just explain what this portion is about. This is called the preamble of a document. First, um, we have to declare the document class. This is something I use here as a report or a letter. And this is 12 point. So this part, this there's this backslash all the time in this later command. Almost all commands uh, starts with this backslash. So this part declares what kind of document class we're using. And these are the packages. And when we compile it, it doesn't load everything. And you have to sometimes specify what you need to use. So if you're going to do a lot of mathematics, you have to use this AMS math and AMS symbol, AMS SYMB. So we usually include this one to use mathematics. And there are other packages. And this one here is to make everything in times and Roman font. And sometimes we bring in um, the graphics element. So that to do that, we have to use these packages. So these are probably the minimal amount of the package that you want to use. But there are more things, uh, fancy thing you want to do, and then you have to learn about what kind of LaTeX packages out there and available, and then you have to include it here. The script tag website um, probably have everything in there, so but you have to specify which one to use, so that it doesn't have to load everything that is out there, which could be probably hundreds of LaTeX packages out there. But right now we are loading only four of them. And this is a minimal, so. For, for a while, you can always just copy and paste this part and don't worry about it. But that's what this is, a class of a file, class of a document, and things when we need to use mathematics and font shape and graphics. And this is where really document starts. From here, I, th I think you can see the cursor's blinking. If you type something, it's going to show up in the file. So I've typed in the um, usual message, hello world. And then if this is it, and then you have to end the document. So it starts with a backslash begin document. That's the beginning of the document. And if you type this one, and that's everything in between begin document and end document will show up when you compile it. So we're going to save it first. And it's saved. And if you compile it, it's going to generate a PDF file. I forgot to show something, so I went back to this project. When you're here, if you click on this project link, it's going to go back to that project folder. And you're here. If you go to the setting, it looks like this. Inside the setting, there's a compiler setting. And in that compiler setting, I want you to choose PDF LaTeX, not just LaTeX, PDF LaTeX. And it's going to generate PDF file. 
and go back to this list of file and go back to this example 3. So you should have done that first and then next time you log in it's going to set to PDF LaTeX. Now we generate this file and everything in between begin document and end document will show up in the part of the file and if you compile it when I did it it generates an extra tab so you can see your original example 3.tech file is still in the other tab and you generate an extra file a tab and then loaded automatically loaded the PDF file so that PDF file looks like this hello world that we typed in 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 this font times Roman and showed up as a PDF file that was a very maybe the simplest uh, example of a generating a tag without any mathematics so the next uh, video will be about um, typing more mathematics into this document.